everyone. And let's check out another beautiful game from the Hastings Tournament in 1895. In the memorable Hastings Chess Tournament, there was many important, notable games which is worth to see. And this was one of them. And in this chess game, white is Georg, Marco, and his opponent is William Pollock. This game was one of the chess games in round 2 of the Hastings Chess Tournament in 1895. Georg Marco, who has the white pieces, starts the game with playing e4, e5, knight to f3, knight to c6, and bishop to b5. The Spanish opening, d6, well maybe a6, or bishop to c5, would be a better choice. After d6, this is pinning the knight. d4, immediately, attacking. Bishop to d7, unpinning the knight. Knight to c3, knight from g to e7, d5. And Georg Marco is attacking the knight, knight to b8, playing a passive move, knight to g5, knight to g6, and queen to h5. Bishop takes bishop, knight takes bishop, kicking the knight to somewhere else, knight to c3, and h6, attacking the knight. And this was one of the key moments of the game. And Georg Marco played a very beautiful move. Well, he found the most accurate move in this position. And he didn't play a passive move. He played knight to e6, sacrificing the knight, temporary, after pawn takes knight. He can recapture the knight. And what happens then? We have queen to e7. If capturing the knight, then queen takes knight, king to d7. And after queen takes on e6, the king goes to nowhere. This is checkmate. So this is why we have knight to e6, a beautiful move, queen to e7, defending the queen, and Marco castled, king to d7. And f4, he wants to open the f-file, a logical choice. e takes on f4, and bishop takes on f4. William Pollock captured the bishop with the knight, and then rook takes on f4, leaving the knight. And in this position, white is better. White is winning. Black is much worse in this position. So William Pollock desperately captured the knight. F takes on e6. And here comes rook to f7, winning the queen. That was the idea of Marco. After rook takes on f4, g6 was the better move. Queen to f3 and king to e8. And black is surviving. At least, he is not losing the queen. But of course, again, black is worse in this position, and white is better. So after rook takes on f4, we have f takes on e6 and rook to f7, winning the queen. e5, rook from a to f1. No need to rush to capture the queen. The queen is still pinned, king to d8, and then capturing the queen with the rook. Rook takes on e7, bishop takes on e7, and rook to f7, infiltrating on the 7th rank, bishop to f6, and queen to f5. Can you see the threat? Also in this position, black can't move the knight, because if moving the knight, queen to d7, checkmate. We have rook to e8 by William Pollock, a desperate position, as you can see. If something like b5, a ridiculous move, then rook takes on f6. After pawn takes rook, queen takes pawn. This is check. King to c8 and queen takes rook. And black is losing. Black is losing every hope. Rook to e8 was played. After queen to f5. Georg Marco played knight to e2, bishop to e7. And knight to g3, knight to d7, knight to h5, g6. Queen takes on g6, rook to f8, and knight to g7. And Marco is threatening to play knight to e6, forking the king and the rook. And if moving the king, then rook takes bishop. So this is why, as you can see, this is quite a desperate position. And black captured the rook. Queen takes rook, 
on f7. And this is the last position of this very beautiful chess game. We have seen beautifully executed moves by Georg Marko. He didn't play any passive moves. If you noticed, he always played attacking aggressive moves, always moving his pieces to the north. And finally, he has managed to defeat his opponent. And now, he is threatening checkmate. Queen to e8, how to defend? If defending with the knight, this is the possible continuation, then knight to f5 is winning immediately, attacking the bishop, and the bishop is trapped. So, king to c8, and knight takes bishop, king to b8, and queen takes knight. It's over for black. After queen takes on f7, the game ended here. And let me show you one more possible continuation, only for fun, only for excitement. So if c6, then knight to e6, this is check. The king can't go anywhere, there is no escape. So king to c8, queen to e8, only move is blocking with the bishop, and then queen takes bishop, checkmate. After queen takes on f7 at move 26, William Pollock resigned. This was the last position of this beautiful chess game by Georg Marko. In the chess tournament of Hastings in 1895, there was 22 competents, and all of them was formidable players. Unfortunately, Georg Marko finished the tournament in the 18th place, so it was not a very successful result for Georg Marko, but he played a beautiful, immortal game in the tournament. Although we should not forget that the tournament had many important, formidable players in that era. So the competition level was very high. It was not very easy to finish the tournament in the first place. It was a difficult tournament. Anyway, Marko deserved a credit only because of this marvelous game. So thank you for watching. And I hope to see you next time. Take care and bye-bye.